I applied for unemployment compensation. First time I'd ever done that, and I really didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I was born and raised in a small town in central Jersey, attended a parochial elementary school and a public high school. I went to college um, to pursue a degree in education. I took a position as a social studies teacher and coach, uh, and that lasted for 39 years, 39 wonderful years. And then I retired. When I retired, I took a job with a funeral home uh, and enjoyed that very, very much, if that's the right way to say it. Um, and everything was fine until COVID hit. I received unemployment compensation uh, um, for, for years during the COVID years. And then in June of 2020, I received a letter from uh, the New Jersey Unemployment Agency, which said, you did not fill out your personal income questionnaire and you need to do that immediately, right away. I attempted to fill out this form, and that was the most frustrating part of my life because I never got to the form. The unemployment computer system indicated that I was not who I said I was, and they said, I'll tell you what, if you do not fill this questionnaire out as soon as you can, you will have to pay us back $6,930. It was incredibly challenging for him to even apply for benefits, let alone keep up with what they were expecting him to do um, with his uh, questionnaires through email and everything. He's just not tech savvy. Um, so when he came to us, he was already at the point of he had filed a late appeal. He had a hearing the next week. So we quickly assessed his case, gave him some advice, and um, he decided he wanted to go forward with the hearing as scheduled instead of requesting an adjournment to give us some more time to evaluate it. She said, OK, we'll devise a plan. And we did devise a plan, um, and we sent it to the uh, uh, Department of Unemployment twice. It came back both times. Nope, not going to work. And I simply said to Justine, it, it, it's just too hard. I, I, I want to quit. She said, no, we're not going to quit. The waiver process for the pandemic unemployment benefit assistance um, was completely new to us and, and we were kind of learning as we were going along with Rich. So he was kind of my, my guinea pig. I said, this is new. We're all going to figure this out together, but we'll help you through it. About three weeks later, after we sent the final appeal, an email came uh, to me that said, you don't have to pay. So I have nothing but very, very good things to say about legal services. If you saw the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, um, she's my... <laughs> she is my Clarence. If it wasn't for her, I would pay, I would be paying right now $6,930. But she was my clearance and she was good and she never quit and she never gave up. She is an outstanding lawyer. She's very persistent. Um, she knows what she's doing. She is an excellent lawyer, but she's an even better person.